I think I found the problem, guys. <laughs> that is the connecting rod hanging out of the side of the oil pan. That's not good. What's up guys? I want to give you a quick update on the uh, 350Zs. I've got both cars blown apart right now. There's parts everywhere all over the yard. It's chaos, but it's coming along pretty good. Check it out. This is the, uh, the old motor, the one that's seized up. The one that's got the uh, connecting rod hanging out of the side of the block right there. Yeah, that's definitely a problem. And this is uh, the shell we're going to be using. Uh, got everything cleaned up, scrubbed like the, well not scrubbed, but especially pressure washed, the wheel arches, the, the suspension, everything. It's pretty nasty. I think I have like a small clip of the engine bay before. I might throw that in here. It's pretty dirty, so I'm not going to put an engine back in there like that, of course. Take the pressure washer to it real quick, clean it up, make it look good. Uh, but it come out pretty good. Everything's cleaned up. It cleaned up really, really well. So, really pumped on that. This is our good engine. It uh, says it's like 70 something thousand, and I believe it. Like, this thing is uh, it's pretty clean. So, it's definitely taken, well taken care of. So I'm thankful for that. And as far as the uh, interior of the white car, I've actually done a lot of cleaning up. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a clip of me talking about how nasty the floor was. I'll throw that in there, or throw that in now, I guess. Check this out, guys. Took the driver's seat out of this car, the white 350Z, just to clean it. Because like I said, you know, I want to kind of clean the carpet and clean the seats because they look horrible. Look at this. Ah, it's goes so gross. So gross. Oh man. But anyway, yeah. Uh, clean your car out, people. <laughs> That's disgusting. Could you imagine if you dropped something and stuck your hand down the seat and you felt that? Yeah. But as you can tell, it cleaned up very, very, very good. Um, got at least a little bone here. That's not cool. So I cleaned up all this stuff. It was like all nasty and sticky. The passenger side floor as well. It's pretty bad. And the door card over here, or the door panel, uh, it was in, it was in, in bad shape, but it had like a few little nicks, like little cuts and stuff. So I took that off the red one, which actually the door panel was in really good shape. And the handle was off. Uh, so I threw that back on there. Um, I took the ECU and all that stuff out. I uh, went ahead and removed the airbag off the passenger side because, let's see, figure, you know, nobody wants to get hit in the face with an airbag. I'll be, I have a hold fast steering wheel that I bought for the V8 FDR7. I'm probably going to throw that on here and uh, probably get a racing seat ordered. And I'll be doing the parts by our Part Shop Max uh, Hydro like everyone does the same way I same setup I had in my old 350z and we got some wiring issue down here like they had some kind of um, remote start uh, put in here it's kind of hacked up and stuff like that so I need to make sure that this is all good take that back up so it doesn't look like a disaster and went ahead and put the uh, the driver saw the door back together, which I think I have to take it back apart because like when you shut it It doesn't sound very good like something's loose in there. I'm not sure uh, Got the exhaust that was on here off. There's like a HKS like uh, Exhaust can and some weird bent pipe but I ordered a cheap eBay Y and I think they call them like test pipes and headers, which the test pipes and headers haven't come in yet. We 
which will be you know what I'm waiting on right now so I definitely want to go ahead and put the headers on the engine before I put it in the car because I think I've heard that it's kind of a headache to put headers on them once the engine's in the car so that's pretty much where we're at um, been working on them pretty hard like I said just getting everything cleaned up and ready to go so it will come together pretty quick once I get the headers which I think they're supposed to be in Monday so today is Saturday so hopefully if I get those get on Monday I'll have time to throw them in and uh, get the engine in the car enough time to do a burnout for the new year that'd be awesome so we'll see how it goes <laughs> 